Hey crow friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and as you might have noticed from the title, I have cut my hair once again. I feel like I played it a little safe last time even though I am very proud of myself for doing it myself, but I cut it again virtually and got my bangs back as you will see by the end of this video. It's giving OG Bianca Renee today and I love that for me. So today I'm gonna to show you how I style my hair with my new haircut with the full bang. But first, let's talk about this hairline and the fact that I have one. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Nutrafol. If you watched my previous video, you know I've been taking my Nutrafol vitamins to help with my little uh, lack of hair on both sides thanks to postpartum shedding. I am a couple jars in. I started with the postpartum ones, and then I transitioned into just like the regular ones for women. I have definitely noticed a difference. So let me show you how my hairline was before. Okay, this is how long it was, but now there's hair there now. <gasps> I'm back. I still got some little pieces here, much longer than where we were a few months ago. Mid wing, <laughs> but it's just way more full now. It's thicker and longer. So I have been taking Nutrafol for a couple months now and these are my real results. One of them being definitely noticing a decrease in shedding. So I just got out the shower. This was my shedding, like all of it. A couple months ago, it was like, handfuls like I'll try to insert a photo or something if I could find some video of my before but it was a lot for me this is what I am usually expecting when it comes to detangling my hair I just love how Nutrafol is made with really natural ingredients my only regret is that I didn't start taking these sooner I wish I would have started taking them like right after I had Kylo but even by the time I did start I'm happy that we're here if you use the link in my description box, you will get $50 off your first three months of Nutrafol. So if you're feeling a little insecure about your hair shedding or thinning, definitely give Nutrafol a try. Speaking of my new curly bang cut, bangs are actually a great way to hide any postpartum thinning or shedding that you may have going on over here because it kind of just covers everything. So if you're just starting your Nutrafol journey, you can get the bangs now and then kind of just let it grow out secretly until you get to the stage where you might want to do the slick ponytails again. But in the meantime, this is a nice little cover up. I probably should have done this cut sooner while I was in the trenches, but I just really missed my volume. So that's how we got to this point right here. This is now my second or third time styling my bangs. I told myself that I was going to master this routine until I made a video, but I got a little anxious. So here we are. I'm just going to kind of take you through me relearning how to style my hair like this. I have had my hair like this before as you can see, but I kind of forgot the maintenance that it takes. Well, I knew that I knew the bangs were work, but I did kind of forget. <laughs> so here's the thing. I have very thin hair. Bangs work a lot better on someone that has thick hair because it just looks bigger and fuller. I have to do a lot of manipulation and use a lot of hairspray and volumizing things to get my hair to stay big. So let me see if my Curl Smith full body thickening lotion is actually going to work. So I told myself I wasn't gonna make this video until I've mastered my wash and go routine for my bangs, but I decided just to take you along the journey with me and we could figure out what works and what doesn't. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off on freshly washed hair, I could tell you that this is going to be the worst day of my hair. I always hate day one hair, but I just remember that having bangs was the reason that I started my hate for day one hair because my hair is just not very big. I'm gonna try the Curlsmith Full Body Thickening Lotion. Uh, it's volumizing for definition. I remember there was something weird about this, like the order. Apply your leave-in first, then the thickening, and then the gel. But I do want to use my Dippity Doo Girls with Curls jelly because this was an OG favorite when I did have my bangs. But I have learned from you guys that this gel does not get along with many leave-ins. So let's see if they get along. One way you can figure that out, put a little bit of the product together, the gel and your cream or your leave-in, and see if it makes little chunks or if it stays smooth. Uh, I don't know. It's not too bad. No, this might be bad. No, it's bad. Okay, look, see how it's making little chunks? Dang it! This 
dippity do gel needs to just get along with others. All right, well, I'm glad we tested that. Those little chunks mean that it was going to flake and they're not friends. I'm just gonna try my dippity do on its own and just see what happens. So in apply, I'm just gonna do as normal. I'm also going to rake through it like this because I do not want clumps. Now that my hair is shorter, I want it to look big and full. I don't want large curls that'll make my hair appear shorter. I need it to be as big and full as possible. So I'm gonna smooth it and rake through. Also don't want the back to be flat, so I'm gonna take this section, give it some extra love and an upward motion. Okay, and now let's find the bang. Let's bring everybody forward and apply directly to the bangs. Smoothing it, but still keeping it not clumped and squishing it up for definition. I also don't want the very top of my head to be too frizzy. So I'm gonna smooth down the top, but then also raise it up. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. Ah, it was right in front of me. <laughs> I didn't want to add the Rizzo's Curls Beach Texturizing Salt Spray. I think I was supposed to do this before my gel. Add a little bit to the roots, but then I'll go in again when it's dry. My hands are too slippery. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna let this air dry. And then, once we get a little bit of a cast, I'll be back to diffuse. Okay, and I'm back. My hair has created a little bit of a cast. It's looking nice and shiny, how I like it. One little tip I have, if your hair's not completely dry, hit it with a little bit of hairspray. This is my Rizzo's Curls hairspray, and it just kind of helps it dry faster. Oh, it smells so good. Now, let's diffuse, which is honestly mandatory with bangs. I forgot that part. You can kind of just air dry with your hair, like in a middle part with bangs. You like have to diffuse <laughs> every day. This is my Tymo Air Height Diffuser. Let's do this. <laughs> To a good start. Now we're gonna use our fingers. First we find the shape, okay? And now we zhuzh. Hands stretching it up. Up and out. It looks good! <laughs> Why did I ever doubt you, dippity do? I think I'm just gonna go back and re-watch all my old videos where I had bangs and see what I did. Now, I'm gonna hairspray. I'm telling you, these two sprays by Rizzo's Curls are probably the most slept on hair products. Ooh. I'm back, I'm back y'all. Now I need a pick. feel like me again I love it if you already showed me some love on Instagram I appreciate it if you preferred my hair the way it was I mean it's gone so you can keep those comments to yourself because I can't glue it back on my head so this is how I style my hair with curly bangs if you enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe I post new videos every week you also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Bianca Renee today